Hello everyone, I thought today I'd do a video on my small deactivated gun collection. I say small, it consists of three actual DX, one boring replica, so let's go over that. This is the replica of the Colt single action army. So, um, everything still works. There's a very good quality replica. And everything has been plugged up. So, half cock. Load your rounds in, close the loading gate, cock it back, just take aim down your sights, there's a sight picture for you, and then go squeeze the trigger. Bang. You are shot. <laughs> Except this is a replica. And I would like to own some World War II replicas, but replicas are so certain they are banned. Uh, entirely, so uh, yeah, Colt single action army, no slub nose, probably one inch slub nose, very nice, nice wooden grips as well. And this is my first uh, replica gun, my first gun in the collection because, um. Let me also go and explain something. There is no ammunition. Except for that one, there is 7.62 by 25 ammunition in the magazine. But it's called an inert ammunition, so it won't fire. It won't get chambered. But, anyway, let's move on to my first uh, one. So, this is my 1939. Turkish uh, Mauser made in the capital of Turkey, which is Ankur, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. You would have seen these very famously in the film or the TV film All Quiet on the Western Front, the 1979 version. So it's uh, bolt action. That's me trying to cock it with one hand. It's a very nice uh, bolt on this. So this is a UK spec. So everything still functions. That's always at the right middle safety. And fire, which is that. It's uh, empty, the magazine, everything still functions. This is my first one that I ever picked up for a very, very good price. Next up is the uh, Polish. I'm going to move that one down there, just so I can grab a hold of these. The Polish pistol at Palemnio Spagina, 1943. So this is a UK spec, so the stock will still move, it can fold and everything. Uh, the trigger will function, the safety uh, will function, the bolt. It's not welded in place with the safety. The bolt moves to position uh, your two position rear sight. As a side sling, mine is dated nineteen fifty one. 
which is 44540, so it's a nice serial number. And that's a piece of my carpet that's been taken by the magazine. Dear oh dear. And as you can see, 7.62 by 25, these are inerts. And there's a cut in the magazine so the rounds won't get chambered. Overall, uh, this was invented in 1943 for the Siege of Leningrad and during World War II. Oop. Overall, it's a uh, very nice uh, gun. Um, definitely should buy one because these are pretty goddamn nice for the price you're paying for them. Of course, with a uh, dummy bolt, I can move as well. My final gun is the old, reliable short magazine, the Enfield Number One Mark III. You've all seen this one on the channel before. It's beautiful. Um. So just a bit like, sort of like my Mauser, it's a bolt action. There's a very nice bolt on this, so. Shit goes. I like it. So it's a uh, old spec, but it's been converted to new spec, so. There is a rod in the uh, chamber, but I'm not going on what the different deactivation specs are right now. That's in the video for another time. The safety is on this side, so locks the trigger and the bolt. Push it forwards, the bolt can move, and it can also be cocks as well. We'll give it a dry fire. Very nice, I've done it twice. Uh, the Lee Enfield will always issue 10 rounds uh, box magazines. So, is our YouTube compliant? So, 10 rounds, not the 30 rounds. We did make 20 rounders, but we, but those have been scrapped. <laughs> Mine has the magazine cut off and is a 1915 dated, so is a well and true Mark III, as it also has the uh, windage sights as well. Pretty nice. Um, also the stock disc as well. And overall, that is my short deactivated gun collection. It's not much, but I'm hoping to get more at some point. So uh, thanks for watching.